fam. I'm back with another video and today I'm raising awareness. I want you guys to be aware that the world is losing this rabbit starburst ever loving lasting mind. You feel me? It's losing its mind because they don't think we know what is going on. And if you don't know, this is why this video is here today. Okay? I am a millennial. I'm a part of a millennial group, you know, the one they say where the problem started with. Okay, cool. We can accept that a little bit, but we can do something about it, right? So let's just start with this new connection, 5G. You know, what's better than 4G? 5G, of course. What's better than 5G? 6G, of course, you know. The world just never stops advancing. But this here is a part of a bigger plan. So the 5G wireless connection is um, basically supposed to give you better range and better connections and everything like that. Cool, right? Um, Verizon has a 5G phone. They don't have one phone that supports 5G. And Sprint and T-Mobile, they're still merging at the moment, but they are working towards getting a 5G phone also. It's a race, right? It's a race. More money, more money, more money. But the thing about this is better speed equals more cost. It's going to cost more because Verizon has, although they have a 5G phone, it's only one phone that supports 5G. So that means more money for them. You can't even go back generations just to get a wireless connection to 5G. No, because they won't allow it. So you have to purchase a new phone to get the 5G, right? So cost more. That's the first thing. And I guess the advantages are supposed to be reduced lagging, uh, medical advances, and technological advances. Um, an example that I read up on was car crashes. You know, um, the self-driven cars that they have already. So the self-driven cars that we have, you know, before there was this lagging thing where if something like was to happen rapidly or a human driving car was to do something like real fast, their car wouldn't have time to adjust or move. So which that means that a car accident would be caused in that case, right? So that is what the 5G is supposed to stop, right? And that leads me to my next point. The 5G allows the world, the government to have more access to things that are happening on the ground. Let's say the ground level, right? So they're having, they're having more access and because they want that, they wanted that because of all the new technology that they're in, in introducing to the world. If you guys haven't found out or know, know already, Ford is looking into a robotic option for delivery, to deliver packages. So I don't know what's going to happen to post office workers or anything like that. But yes, they are looking towards a robot to deliver packages to your door. Now you may ask, well, how will the robot know where to go? Does the robot walk? Yes, the robot, ha the robot has two legs, has two arms, I suppose, and has a torso and everything like that. I'm gonna show you guys a video. But real quick, so for it, they first started out with the self-driven cars, and then they realized, okay, so how do we make this more efficient? How do we get the delivery to go follow through? Well, we need a robot. So they look towards Agility Robotics, which was founded late 2015, and the CEO is Damien Shelton. Now, their robot is called Digit. Digit is a robot that helps, that helps with package fulfillment to go along with the self-driven cars, right? So, um, they can hold up to 40 pounds, you know, the packages, the boxes, they can hold up to 40 pounds. And they're doable enough to kept, to catch themselves from falling. So you may ask, like, how can a robot go upstairs? How can a robot, like, go through obstacles and everything in your yard? What if you got a bicycle in the way? What if your car is in the driveway or, or something like that? They can't park. Well, that's where the more, that's where the government has more hands on your life because they're coming up with the sensory data for the vehicle and the robot to share. So they're going to be able to access they're going to be able to look at their surroundings together, feel their surroundings, and know what to do. So it's like if they're going to have like this whole map of your place, right? They have your address, and now they're going to have a whole map out of your place, how to go around stuff, how to get, how to take stuff to the door. So yeah, they're really going to be smart. They're going to know what they're doing. Digit has LiDAR and a few stereo cameras in their torso, and has two multi-core CTOs. Now, I don't know what LIDAR is, we can look that up, and I don't know what these actual cameras are doing or the multi-core torso appliances inside, right? Because they could very well have an AK-47 in their belly, ready to do, 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 do you, you feel me? So, um, Digit in an unexpected obstacle, like I was telling you, it will send messages back to the self-driven car and have the car configure a solution. Now, 
If you guys like to steal, I know we have a couple stealing scammers out there, you know, bad people in the world. I don't know what happened to you if you try to jump on digit and steal the digit, okay? Um, this says that the um the car will configure a solution. So what I get from that is maybe that car might run you over. So y'all might want to think twice about stealing digit, because digit gonna knock you out, okay? So in order to figure configure a solution, um the car will send signals. To the cloud so it means no less privacy because everything their surrounding obstacles and everything is going to the cloud we'll send it to the cloud and request help from another system to enable digit to navigate okay so that's just the basics of it.